and no London exhibitions at the moment, which is a shame. Well, we were thinking about doing that Daily Mail one, maybe. There's just so much material there. There is. Yeah, that'd be cool. We don't have mm. quite the same um, art scene in London in terms of like galleries and pop culture stuff as LA. Yeah, but I'd like, I'd like to sort of cultivate that a little bit. Um, it was, it was, <laughs> I was chatting to someone earlier and they were saying that in London you get good street, street art and uh, bad street art and that's it. Sorry if it sounds like I'm talking really weirdly, it's because I'm getting weird feedback in my head. It's just like I'm talking to myself. Um, let's have a look. Do you want uh, the to experience take this? of working with Sony for Resistance 3 was really good, actually. Um, I know there are a lot of nightmare experiences about working with big companies on big campaigns, but it was really, um, it was really easy. I mean, they pretty much went with the first thing I showed them, which was, which was kind of weird. I sketched it on the train on the way to the first meeting. And I said, I really like the uh, cover for the first recent game with the, uh, with the skull. And, and I really, I really like that. So I pitched it to them. And I said, I want to do something like this. And they said, oh, that's really good. And you'll go away and sketch that up. And I did. And that was what it ended up being in the end. Which is weird, because I kept pitching other ideas, which I thought were better. But by that point, they already sort of had their hearts set on that, on that one thing. Um, but yeah, it came out. Are you still getting mad echo? Is it just you? Can anyone hear me? Yeah, Al, talk about your book. <laughs> Wait, um, let me answer your question. Thank you. Yeah, books. Yay, books. We're, we're pretty pumped about our books. I think one's coming out in December. It's my Toy Stories book. Um, all of my goofy designs of photos that I took of toys talking to each other, saying silly things. But it's, um, yeah, I'm pretty pumped. They asked me to do 100 and um, it's going to be out later in the year. Buy it in a great bookstore near you. Mine's Portsmouth, FC or Pompey. They're about to go out of existence. Cool. Um, yeah, I will be a fantastic best this year. Uh, that's sort of the plan at the moment. <laughs> Play up from it. <laughs> Amazing. Hey. hey, I think I got rid of the echo. It might have been my fault. So sorry about that. God, if I could commission a poster from anyone. God. Um... That's really tough. I know like, the stuff Landland have been doing recently. Uh, I'd love to commission a Landland post for something, but I'm not sure what it would be. But I think that shit is incredible. Also, I commission um, Becky Drystat a lot every time she's at a con. I always get her to stuff for me because I'm such a huge fucking fan of her stuff. Um, oh, Yavigator. Is he quiet? Right. Is that my voice or just not saying anything? Oh, what's in my, what's in my flat? Oh. Faithless for me. Um, I saw Faithless at the end of the Should we take a look? Should we? I can, I'm on my laptop so I can pick it up. Whoa. Let's have a look. I've got, this is really embarrassing because I moved to a smaller house where I don't have as much stuff, so it's lots of um, fucking framed work, weirdly. <laughs> I've got this amazing Seb Lester piece, and... Uh, Did you just get that? I was going to get that. And... Oh, I've got one of my pieces in here. Uh, the, again, this is really bad. I've got, like, my, my um, Captain America signed by Stan Lee. And I've got... I don't, like, frame anything of my own unless it's been signed by something. Someone interesting. I've got some of the thin pieces left over, and, like, these little... Pokemon dudes, and lots of work, some double ghosts, lots of work by other friends of mine. And down here, yeah, some more frame stuff. I got like one of the one of the broken Ouija boards from the ghost show. 
don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, flat file. Annoyingly, English style, uh, English yeah. size flat files are about an inch shorter than 24 by 36. So all of my 24 by 36 stuff is under my bed, which is fucking ridiculous. I, I'd um, give you a guide to the tour of my place, but um, excuse that. It's um, I've, I've kind of created a narrow. Bed, I've got um, shit. I've got uh, you don't want to know. <laughs> does Alid have a framed Ollie Moss Yeah, I do. He does. I do. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Just the F one. Yeah. And don't you have um, Joven Franklin as well? Yeah, I do. They're just out of shot up there. I, I'd, I'd move um, my my uh, camera around as well, but it's attached to a fucking huge MacBook, um, the iMac, iMac, so I won't do it. And also, I've created a sort of a really neat corridor here, and either side, it's I've chucked all the rubbish, so it's not very nice to look at. I am, however, wearing some drop medals from uh, previous wins, so just. Uh, Think about that for a minute, Ollie. Thanks, Jake. Finn or Jake? Jake. Finn or Jake? Finn. Definitely. <laughs> Jake all the way. How was it? <laughs> um, it was great collaborating with Ad. It was funny because we were just having a conversation, probably a bit of a drunken conversation, and um, we, she said, "Om nom nom, omnivore, omnivore," and. It kind of evolved from that into something that was a goofy idea that um, she really struggles to take credit for, but I keep telling her it's, it's yours, your idea, so it's all good. Are you <laughs> scotch? I'm not drinking scotch. Everyone asks me if I'm drinking scotch. Yes, <laughs> I am. Excuse me. Um, <laughs> some great questions. Uh, who the biggest fat on espresso beans is? Uh, me. Yeah, 100%. Um, what else? Golden ticket not yet received. Let's, there was another fucking thing up here. Yeah. Uh, Ollie, your mum says leave your hair alone. Okay. <laughs> Riley, yes. <laughs> How much your help? Was it having a designer mum? Ollie? What's that? My mum is not a designer. Oh, uh, my mum worked in a, to design a agency, but she didn't actually design anything herself. She was an account manager, but it was really useful to be kind of going in there. I mean, they gave me my first dodgy copy of Photoshop uh, when I was like 50, so that was kind of useful. <laughs> they want, they want, they want to know about the espresso beans thumbnails, Ollie. You've got to give them some info. Oh, what are they? Just um, quick. Uh, not broadcast. I can't say. What? <laughs> I mean, one of them's a one of them's a Ghibli, but I can't say which which one. A good question again from Jeff Guerrero. What's my most prized print and why? Um, it's. Um, <laughs> I was going to say the print that Ollie gave me the other day that I left in a cab, uh, <laughs> but I left it in a cab. So. You are so. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Um, it was um, it was uh, it's a print by Accept and Proceed about rainfall in the UK. It's kind of a really boring, bland infographic about weather in the UK. Perfect, I feel. Um, and that's a favorite print that we got. Oh, actually, there's one quite substantial that's very very as well, which is awesome as well. Um, my most hated, most hated job. Oh, um, my most hated job was um, when I was before I got sorry, that's really funny. To study School design. Just... Um, I just no, carry, sorry, carry on. I'm just going to find this picture. <laughs> yeah. Relevant. Yeah, no. Um, I had some really, really shitty age jobs before I went back to study design. Um, working like cleaning in a muffin factory and um, shifting and packing and working in like an industrial. They were shitty, shitty jobs, and uh, I'm kind of glad that I just get to sit at the doodle now. It's for the best. Uh, where's this thread chat? Yeah, school just asked it. Would I draw? Um, oh God, what's it done? It's done a stupid fucking thing. Hmm. 
Uh, sorry, technical issues. All right, here we go. Yeah, we yeah we we should actually make the UK show happen. Definitely, maybe next year, beginning of next year or something. And um, we can high five each other. Ollie, can we high five? Can you hear me? What? Ollie, no, no, no. Like, turn to your left. Wait. Oh, what? No. What? Hang on. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's you good. Do you ready? Two, no, three. I got my, I'm like, ah, yeah, oh, that worked. It totally worked. It was amazing. I felt like I was doing a sort of queen wave when I was when I was trying to like angle my hand and yeah, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how do you do those speckled gradients? Uh, it's just uh, the Photoshop airbrush. Um, so it's, it's a normal Photoshop brush that to diffuse with um, low of about five percent and skills, just mad skills everywhere. What Chris, Chris and Kelly ask? What are your thoughts on the Olympics? We love I mean, Olympics. I've been so loving like, Olympics. I was at the velodrome the mood nationally has just sort of lifted. Since I've been here, I mean, I and genuinely, London, not in like London, some fucking yeah. pathetic, sarcastic way. Uh, I genuinely feel very uplifted, and also just having them on at work all day is amazing. It makes it really easy to, yeah. um, to just sit in my office and focus on work, but also have the Olympics on in the background. You know, it's like here's 15 seconds of fencing, and then here's 15 seconds of people punching each other. It's brilliant. I love it. Yabagator asks, do you want another beer, Alid? Yes, <laughs> I will have another beer. Yabagator. Thank you. Can I have one as well? Yeah, and one for Ollie as well, thanks. Sweet. Uh, did I buy anything interesting at SDCC this year? Uh, yeah, I bought a lightsaber and um, just a bunch of original art. I killed a man. Do you watch any non-mainstream anime? Uh, you, I used to. I used to watch a shit ton. Um, but not so much anymore. I'd like to, though. I mean, the thing is, I used to have people that would recommend it to me. And it now I don't really have anyone that's, that's into it. So I don't, I don't know. But I'm open for recommendations. Lock and key. French. Lock and key. Oh, yes, read it. It's so good. Can't play bebop. You've done one, haven't you already? What? Um, Jeff's asking all the good questions so far. Oh wait, it's going too quick. Well, I see. I got the Darth Vader, the red one. What, what artists have been influential to the work you produce? Um, that's from Invisible Element. Um, I don't know, really, to be honest. I just kind of, I, uh, um, for me personally, anyway, um, there's just, I, I try and take inspiration from a whole bunch of different artists and designers. And there's not really anything specifically. I kind of ape styles and then try and learn a bit about how to do something and then adapt it and, and make it my own to an extent, I guess. And that's kind of what I do. Um, with me, uh, obviously, originally like Saul Bass, poor, poor brand. Recently, a lot of sort of the unnamed design designers that worked on um, like uh, London Underground tube ads from the 40s and 50s. I've got this amazing book mm. of, um, of work, and that's sort of what like got me into the whole uh, diffuse dot pattern and stuff that I've been using a lot recently. But other than that, nothing really. Um, I don't know Someone's putting on an exhibition of Tom Cruise, Sean Bean, and Kevin Costner. Oh God! How much time do you spend on art in, in a day? Uh, Jesus. Um, sometimes it's twenty hours. You know, if I'm like don't sleep. Uh, sometimes it's done. It depends how I feel, how into it I am. Yeah, same, same for me. It's um. 
just a case of I, I tend to work whenever I'm kind of in the zone and sometimes that means working all night or at least until seven and then sleeping kind of inverted hours to normal uh, normal people are. but yeah just work work whenever it suits you <laughs> Migreya says do you feel in charge uh, no, yes never Right now, I feel I feel in charge. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Been given a platform for my ridiculous views. <laughs> no, um, I never feel in charge. I don't feel like that's always a good way to feel. I feel like everything should kind of feel like a fluke. It should feel like you're trying new things and testing it, and kind of on the edge, and you don't really know how a job is going to go. Because if you know how it's going to go, then it kind of feels like you're not trying anything new. You're just doing it by rote. You know. That makes sense. Just me. Man, this great. This got me. Need to pick some out. Um, <laughs> What's it like working yeah. with Robert Ashton? Okay, I just kind of. Um, yeah, great. He's a lovely dude. You know, he's all the best places um, to someone... eat in San Francisco. All fun asked me. Um, is for someone who hasn't had the pleasure of seeing your work, how would you describe it? Um, it's, um, I guess, it's kind of eclectic, really, it's, and um, fun and colourful and um, pop arty and pop culture. It, it involves photos and pixels and um, doodles and that kind of thing. So just check it out. How would I describe it? Transcendent. No. Oh <laughs> uh, shit. Um, usually, I just. Don't tell people I'm a designer. Tell people I'm a hairdresser. Makes it easier. People don't they don't ask any questions. <laughs> Less shame. Oh, Oli Mers is asking. What's my favourite film of the summer? Uh, I'm technically not allowed to talk about it. In fact, we're not technically allowed to talk about it because we saw it together. But uh, Looper, Looper was fucking amazing. It was our favourite film. Oli, don't leave me hanging. Are Come we... on, Oli. Oh, ah, wrong way. Oh, oh, no. Ah. Oh, this is going totally badly. Oh, shit. Sorry. That was awful. Uh, do you prefer random sales than uh, announcing them? Yeah, the random ones tend to work out much easier for me um, because simply the, there's no oversell. And uh, I don't know if any of you guys have ever used PayPal before, but... Um, it's so slow and navigating it and going through all the different transactions is incredibly fucking boring and frustrating and nasty. So the random ones tend to work out better purely from um, from an ease of like, you know, from an ease of use standpoint. Um, how many guys, how many times have we kissed? Or well, how many guys have we kissed? That's a, how many guys have we kissed? Question. <laughs> um, Let's change it all now, Ali. No, right, wrong way again. That's that works. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. That's enough interaction for tonight, I think. Uh, <laughs> no. Yeah. Have you ever finished a design? Bought one else. Have you ever finished a design and thought, "Oh, people will hate this." And then it goes viral. Yeah, that, that happens quite a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Me anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, will I face any limitations? I don't think so. If it's a one-off and it's not for money, then fine. Well, whatever. <laughs> I like the Hercule one. Was it meant to yeah. be Wolverine or two Batman? Well, if Marvel sue me, if Marvel sue me, it's two Batman. <laughs> if, uh, if DC sue me, it's Wolverine. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we've got a Sock Club member in the house. Sock Club. Sorry, do you have copyright issues? Yeah. No, because most of my stuff is uh, fully licensed. And the stuff that isn't, um, I don't know, I've been very lucky or just actually have pretty good relationships with those people. I think I feel like most um, either the um, people who, for me anyway, whose work um, 
I've um, encroached on the IP of. I think I feel either they don't know about it or they have a good sense because it's basically parrying yeah, I mean, anyway. I remember someone but, telling me a story about like, Nintendo, and they were saying that um, somebody stood up during a Nintendo shareholder meeting and said, "Why aren't we suing these people?" And they said, "Because it's just actually it's better for us that we're doing this." I mean, that's not my standpoint particularly, but. I mean, if you're not actively harming their IP and you're just sort of entrenching its status as a cultural icon, I think, in some ways. I mean, that's a really shitty justification of um, what I do, but I think in many ways the people are appreciative of it. I mean, that's the, I mean, I haven't been question. sued for doing things yet, so either they are appreciative and they, they, they like it or they haven't seen it. Uh. One of the questions is... Uh, Lion King. You, Favorite Disney movie from the nineties. Um, me, uh, it's um, oh man, this is tough. Maybe, maybe Hook. I love Hook. Um, yeah, I can't. My recall is also awful, so I can't remember it off of my head. Um, okay, so oh. someone asked something earlier, which I wanted to answer, which is, do you have any UK signings or? things planned this year. Um, yep, Scott and I are going to be doing book signings at Forbidden Planet. Uh, we haven't quite locked down the date yet, but we'll be doing a joint signing there. And we will both have a pretty big presence at Thought Bubble. And if you like Mondo stuff, Thought Bubble might be something that you want to come to, maybe, but if that happens, just, yeah. Yeah, I do collect loads of prints by other artists. I've got a bunch of Tyler Stout stuff. I've got um, a bunch of Kevin Tong stuff. Um, I don't have any Shepard Fairy yet, but I really like his shit. Uh, what else? Um, I've got the Drew. I've got the, hang on. I've got the, the Drew Strews and Frankenstein up on the wall there, which are my favorites. And. Yeah, it's Scott Campbell, by the way. Someone was asking which Scott. Oh, yeah, Scott. It's Scott Campbell. Um, yeah, and I, I collect prints as well. Not quite as many as Ollie does because um, I can't afford to, but I do collect some. And, and the free ones that they give me as well. And that's a good question from Danny again. Like, do, you, do you pick the films based on one-day license? Do they tell you what films to do? It's a mix of both. Um, sometimes I'll come to them and I'll say, hey, you know, I've got like a really fucking good idea for um, this movie. Can you get the license? And they'll look it up. Or it'll be, hey, can you do this? And I'll go off and do it. Um, I'm trying to think of examples. I mean, Star Wars, they asked me. Um, Rubber, they asked me. Uh, shit, what, what have I done that I've gone to them with? There's some stuff at the moment that I've gone to them with that I'm doing. Um, <laughs> Jessica Hitch website. Um, um, no, I, I really liked it. I thought it was great. Mm, but then I, I've met Jessica and I know I had the pleasure of meeting her, and she's lovely. So I sort of like saw it as a more personal thing, and I like her. She's great. Um, I thought it was like talented. full of great work by great illustrators. Um, someone asked. Uh, any other artists doing stuff in mediums that you want to try? Um, the example of uh, man, I've lost it. Sorry. No. I love Ashley Wood's work. Um, like, I've got a bunch of his toys. Um, I want to do more stuff in letterpress, and I thought he has, has said he's going to do the same lately as well. And I who do you think lost. is a sellout in design? Jesus, that's a tough question. Me. But <laughs> I don't know how, how far you can sell out when you start doing pictures of fucking Star Wars characters in Batman. <laughs> can you guys do some impressions? Oh, shit. Oh, um, no. No, I can't. I can do an impression of Ollie Moss doing an impression of um, Alex Guinness doing... Um, <laughs> warning uh, about the sound too much Jimmy Stewart which is terrible oh Michael Caine shit um, <laughs> I can't do Michael Caine I, I do the Jimmy Stewart which is 
Oh, I don't have your money. It's, it's like Bill's house and Fred's house. Oh, I don't want to live anymore. Clarence, I, 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 no, sorry, that's it. <laughs> that, was, that was your Kevin Tong impression. No, my Kevin Tong impression is really good. But I'm not going to do that one now. <laughs> the Zen people are easy, easily starved, but they'll soon be back and in greater numbers. <laughs> sorry. I need to. I'm going to work on my, uh, That's my fucking bank. That's awful. <laughs> <laughs> David. That's a good question. The Oli Mers, um, Oli Moss feature showdown. I would love it to happen. I'll tell you what, he'll, he'll, I'll, I'll do him in a singing com composition and he can have a designing composition. I don't know enough about um, American microbrewing. To give an answer to that one, I'm sorry. Sorry, what's that? <laughs> Could you, um, your favourite comic book writer? <laughs> um, for me, uh, um, I really, really enjoyed Scott Snyder's uh, um, so, and I got to meet him in London, which was awesome. So yeah, and you asked him if he'd have <laughs> chi on his work. <laughs> <laughs> you asked <asshole. laughs> Um, I don't even remember that. Favorite comic writer at the moment, uh, Jeff Lemire. I love his shit, uh, and his Animal Man run is amazing. Moms. <laughs> don't you hate pants? Yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. Do you actually use your kitchen? Yeah. I cooked a delicious spaghetti bolognese tonight. I don't know if you can see there is a pot up there. There are remnants. There are cooking remnants. <laughs> Customer service forum. Um, Foku never got their Pokemon print. <laughs> Favorite pizza topping. Mine's there, like the all the full house, just everything on it. Uh, I like roasted vegetables and goat's cheese. Well, that's not, that's not, it doesn't have peat, it doesn't have meat on it. No, I see, that's where you fail. I like vegetarian pizza. Is that weird? I like meat, but veg veggies on pizza, the way forward. How and many Blu rays do I have? Lead. Many. Uh, I say. You can kind of see. It's not all of them, there's enough more. But. <laughs> UK greater than US. Winky face. I agree. Oh man. <laughs> uh, surprise chat release. That'd be great. Um, I'd love to do some video game stuff. Actually, there is one thing that I can say, but I can't say who I'm doing it with, but I am working on an iPhone game in, at the moment, so roughly. What setup are you using Call of Duty? It was only to you, Ollie. I'm not, I can't answer that one. Oh, um, what setup do I use in Call of Duty? Shit. Uh, I haven't played it in so long. Um, I always use the tomahawk or the throwing knife. Uh, even though it's shit, but when you get the kill, it's like the best feeling ever. And something automatic and easy to hit people with. Favorite zombie game, DayZ or DayZ for the American audience. Better than Left 4 Dead? Yeah. Ollie? What? Favorite TV show? The Simpsons. Um, um, it's always sunny in Philadelphia for me. Mine kind of changes quite a bit. It was Arrested Development until about a couple of Diablo 3 print. Uh, no. no. English TV show. Um, um, the thick of it. I fucking love that show. Amazing. Yeah, that's a good show. Or um, Alan Partridge. Yeah. I've not watched any of these series. Hmm. Workaholics is what all this sunny used to be. Okay, I'll check that out. Music when you design. Um, I actually listen to music for a little bit, but mostly I listen to audiobooks. Because um, I sit there for a long fucking time. And I feel like music kind of ties me out. Very quickly, I need something that I can just kind of like zone out to. And 
I tend to, um, I used to um, be really kind of on top of my music. I just put a Spotify uh, like playlist on and, and listen to that. Or I have my TV over there, which I kind of watch the TV shows and then films. Um, because there's kind of mad um, yeah. amount of stuff I need to catch up on right now. And one quick question that I'm just going to answer real quick that said um, by Ben Rowe, are Pompey going to survive? Yes, they are. Even if it's plan B, there'll be something left of the football club. It's got a Rugrats or Rocco's fun. <laughs> Fucking Rocco's modern life, man. Of course. Rugrats for me. What's the best gig I've been to? Um... Limp Biscuit at Reading, like two years ago. It was just amazing. Actually serious. <laughs> two years ago? <laughs> Shut up, two years ago. It was like two years ago. It was so good. It was so shit, but it was so good. <laughs> <laughs> I know, LCD Sounds was amazing. Um, yeah. When Sona knows what I'm talking about, it's terrible, but I, you know all the words, and it's just oh, so good. Um, best actual gig. I went to a Yolo Tango one that was really good, and um, and LCD I really liked. Ha! Someone says Muse Print would be rad. They actually asked me about doing the album cover for the new one, but it was like a pitch job, uh, and I wasn't. Um, it was like a really short deadline, and I was in the middle of working on stuff in San Diego, and it was kind of a, kind of, yeah. Spider boobs. Did that become a print in the end? Sorry, what's that? Did spider boobs become a print? Oh, it's um, yeah. doing a letter press right now. It's um, in the works. But it takes a little longer to do than screen print because it's more involved process. But I think it'll be worth it. I think it'll be really cool. Someone says, uh, Yup says, Alid, how do you do your pixel art? And I, <laughs> I, I, do it, I do it with, um, I used to do the smaller, sort of very small 8 bit, very 80s retro stuff illustrator because it's easier. But with the more like the scenes, um, I'd use Photoshop now, zoomed in to the pixel level, and then paint and like draw it with this. How did you do his pixel art? Like, sure answer with pixels. Yep. <laughs> it's no secret. I'd love to do gig, gig posters. I just don't get asked. But no. I would love to. I think it'd be nice, a nice break from the movie stuff, I, which I've been doing for a long yeah. time now, and I'd kind of like to not do so much of them. But. Probably better um, Probably better pay movie stuff, let's be honest, though, didn't get, there's yeah. not that much money. So Ruben, like Ruben's time. asked, how long did it take me to the Dark Knight Rises print? Um, that actually took me like a really fucking long time, and I know a lot of people were down on it, but I still, I'm still really proud of it. That's one of my favorite things that I've done, but um, I guess I, the, uh, the concept, I looked at it, and it came in March, March of this year, uh, maybe, maybe a little bit before that, maybe sort of February. And I just started like working on it, working on it, working on it, and I finally got the sketch down. And the actual like, like from from the sketch to the final, probably going back and doing different revisions, probably maybe a week, maybe a week, maybe four, four or five days. Um, I just want to apologise really quickly to everyone who's asked a question this evening and had answered because there's so many yeah, moving so quickly. That would would kind of pick them out, but um. Cheese asked, what um, A-levels, B-techs did you guys do? Um, I uh, did um, A-level art and um, design and tech and uh, business studies and then general studies, which is kind of a, a, a one that you just tap in the end. But um, uh, yeah, and I, my, uh, my tech, uh, my design, I got a couple of A's and then I got a C in business studies. Um, so there was there's kind of some theme there. But I got... I did um, English literature, English language, uh, history, and philosophy. And I did English literature at university. Call yourself an artist. I know. Terrible. That's it. Time up. 
We're finished tonight. Done. Thanks so That's much, nice. everyone. We'll do it again. For... This was fun. Yeah. This was fun, yeah. Oh, Blues Brothers, um, quickly, because someone asked like five times. Um, we couldn't get the licensing to do it as a print, so we only printed like 25 copies. Yep. Let's sign off with a high five, Ollie. You know you want to. How, which way am I going? This way? Okay, hang on. What, Same way as way? always. Oh, no, hello, Queen Wave. <laughs> you ready? Yep. Right. Thanks, guys. Yeah. yeah, cheers. Thanks for tuning in. All right. Bye.